Good morning, on Trading Mart. Yes, uh, good morning. This is Help Your Neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, I just was informed that a couple days ago that somebody had called in that they had a Willie's Jeep for sale mm -hmm. with a plow. I'd like to have that number if you can find it. Those get thrown out on Saturday or after the uh, show, like Saturday afternoon. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see if I can... It might. I'll tell you what. We got one sheet here left, and I'll, if it's on there, we'll pass it along. Okay. Okay. Uh, later on, I don't have it uh, right in front of me here, but we'll pass it along. And the other item is uh, we're looking for some acorn squash or some squash, mm -hmm. if anybody has any. And my number is four five three, eight zero eight nine. Eight zero eight nine. All right. Good luck. Good. Thank you. Bye now. Willie's Jeep. I'm looking for it right here. I do have one. Uh sheet here. I remember that's been on, off and on the uh, radio for the last couple of months. Don't see it uh, here on this one particular sheet that was saved. So if the Willie's Jeep person, would you call? Also one of the acorn squash. What was that number? I didn't write that on the number. I think it was 8087, wasn't it? I think so. Doing that from memory. My apologies. Uh, I was looking for that on that sheet. Good morning, you're on Trading Mart. Hello there, my friend. Well, good morning, Harry. How are you? I feel as fit as a fiddle and ready for love. Well, good, Harry. I'm glad you're all right. I hear you almost uh, uh, bought the farm last week. Yeah, I had a close call there. Yeah, well, you be the careful. Lady, the lady got excited. Did I she? didn't know it was a lady, but after a while I found out it was a lady driving. She got excited because she saw me on the edge of the road. Mm. She had all the room in the world to stay in her lane. Oh, is that but, right? But what happened? She got excited. She went on the shoulder. And she hit a low spot on the shoulder, and the car tipped and went into the ditch, and she hit a big tree. Wow, I hear you kept on going. Is that true? Well, I kept on going because I, when somebody came out of the car, I pointed at that car, and I said, that woman, woman, that person must have fallen asleep. Oh. And I turned around, and I kept going because I had no right over there to be there anyway because I didn't know it was my fault. I see. I just kept going until the sheriff came after me and told me to turn back and report that back where the accident was and the sheriff interviewed me and uh, mm. took my name and he said, I'll see you in court. I said, like, hell you all. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Because you... it was not my fault. I was, I, just, I was in my lane because I was instructed oh. by the sheriff's department where to ride. I see. Well, you be careful because a lot of people are saying they're almost hitting you. Well, I know there's a lot of people, I, especially when people make left-hand turns. I oh. stop. I let them go. Oh, well, good. Left-hand turn. Well, keep that up, Harry. What do you have for items today? Well, I haven't got much today. I got two white board cushions. They're approved by the United States Coast Guard. They're in good condition. Mm -hmm. And then I have one portable radio. It's AM and FM. It's battery and electric. It's very good condition. Then I have a Panasonic AM and FM radio, a clock, and it's got a, um, a dose button in case you want to get in some extra sleep. Mm -hmm. Very good condition. And my telephone number is 453-6219. 6219. You know, another story, Harry. What? And I know it wasn't you because your battery wouldn't last that long, but there was another 83-year-old man that was stealing vegetables in a scooter in Merrill, and I want you to be able to tell people that wasn't you. Uh, you know, I, I... You could never get to Merrill, could you? I can make it, but I'll never get back home. Oh, okay. You I, know what happened? I'll tell you. I don't, I don't know if that was last week or a week ago. I was coming home from Tomahawk. Uh -huh. I can make a round trip, Tomahawk and back. But something had happy with my battery. It broke away from where I live to Clear Lake Park. Mm -hmm. The battery went dead. You know what I had to do? What did you have to do? Pull it. Oh, Harry. I had to pull it to my garage so I could uh, juice it up. All right, Harry, be careful. Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. Bye now. Bye-bye. Okay, there goes Harry in his happy scooter. Oh, boy, huh? A couple of boat cushions, AM, FM, portable radio, AM, FM, Panasonic radio at 6. Get more calls about Harry and his scooter, I think, than anything else these days. 842, good morning. You're on Trading Mart. Good morning, Mark. Say, this is kind of a help you, hurt you, neighbor week. <laughs> okay. The other day we had an accident up on A and 51, right? Uh, uh, yes, I'm sorry to hear that. And Harry was involved? Yes. And the way it sounds, poor Harry got the blame. But you know, that is an intersection there. Mm hmm And if the lady wouldn't have been going too fast for conditions, mm -hmm. she would have stopped. See, everybody says she has a th three alternatives. Hit the car hit Harry or hit the ditch. Mm -hmm. but she had it wasn't everybody. Report. I think it was just me, but uh, that was what the police report well, or the action report said. Yeah, well, that kind of includes everybody. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if she wouldn't have been going so fast, she could have stopped because the speed limit signs right there. Mm -hmm. Well, we, th we thank you for that insight. I will say, in defense of the uh, myriads of people, though, well, Harry does have the right of way, as per the law. 
for uh, yes, physical disabilities. Does. I've probably had about, uh, well, maybe, maybe up to 30 people tell me that they've almost hit him uh, just going in the lane and they've had problems seeing him and uh, problems, whether it be uh, 15 or 25 miles an hour, and uh, it's uh, certainly a source of concern for Harry's well-being, and that's why it's brought Well, up. this it is, but at the same time, we figured he's driving a little putt-putt that goes five miles an hour. Mm -hmm. We're driving a vehicle that'll do 80 to 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. We have the power in our hands to eliminate Harry or to slow down mm -hmm. and watch where we're going. If we watch what we're doing, Harry wouldn't be a problem because they know he drives up and down that road, except for tourists. You know, mm -hmm. they don't know it. Yeah. But they should be abiding by our laws and stay down to where they can control their car. Hmm. Well, thanks for your input. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank Bye you. now. Bye-bye. 857 on WJJQ. Let's hear this.